and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods and what a load of mods we've got today well it is actually the day after because I didn't see these mods till about 11 o'clock last night so I'm not sure what time they came out but let's go to the mod hub and have a look in there and look at all those that's what we got to have a look at today go to the first one the agro mask AT and this is this aggregate made by agro mask by VNS FDG2 and we got a couple of different ones the AT30 AT40 and the SL2 so we'll have a look at those then we got the Lizard Neo Pack. It's a pack of two tools, one heavy disc harrow which can be used as a plow, six meters work width, and a trailed roller which can be used as a cultivator 6.5. And you can use them together. So we'll have a look at that one. And then this is one that I've been waiting for by Black Sheep Modern. The the old school skidder MF320 and it comes with the low loader as well then we've got the Horsch Tirano 4FX which is a 4 meter cultivator and that's by Tylon Ket I forgot to say the lizard packs by Notra 3 Addy. We go on to the Joskin Modula 2. A 12 metre work. metre working. Working with 12 metres working speed, 17 kilometres. So it looks like a, another slurry injector. So that's a new one, we'll have a look at that. By, and that's by Luca. And then another slurry tanker with injector. And that's by Turbo Gamer. But that's only 2.5, but you'd probably be do a lot with that tank though, because 14,000 litres. And we've also got a safety weight pack. Now this should be interesting as long as it doesn't just fit onto tractors. But yeah, you've got a 2000 kilo and a 500 kilo, and that's by Smetty. And then you've got the Lizard SH1 bale grab. So we'll have a go with that and make sure it grabs bales by Wopster. And then you've got the Fliegel Silo Grab Shovel, which is 1140 capacity, so not the biggest grab, but it says good for bail loading by Gamer8250. And then we've got five placeables, which is a chicken stable by the Big E. Small stable for free range chickens with automatic feeding and egg collecting systems. So that could be interesting. Then we've got a new vehicle haul by Mock to Gurnbauer or something like that. A large haul for storing vehicles. Then we've got a multi filling silo station. Multi-filling station here you can buy anything you'd like the deliver the delivery people take 10% and 15% on any crop harvest Right, so we'll have a look at that. It looks like there's two different types to buy And then we got a large vehicle shed by FA285634 And that's it. That is your lot for today. But there's loads. Love it. So first out, we've got the Fliegel Silo Grab Shovel. Now this is nice looking 
mod it only goes on front loaders so you can't put it on your tele handler or anything else it is just a, a front loader only now, it is minus four slots and it is a lot cheaper than the other one we've got it's 2200 pounds to buy and 112 pounds to lease but it only holds 1140 whereas the other one i think it held about 2000 so it was uh, quite a few more and there's no different options you get it as you get it a nice nice looking mod it says good for using with bales as well so it'll be interesting to see if the spike bits on the top pick up four or five bales at a time or whether they glitch out a little bit and then we move in on because we got so many to go through today we got the lizard sh1 and this is the bale grab now this is 1050 pounds to buy 53 pounds to lease minus two slots now you change the color the standard one it comes in this blue and if you want to change the color it's an extra three grand which uh, i thought was a bit excessive myself three a grand absolutely crazy and fits on telehander and front loader so we will give that a go quickly to make sure it works as last time we had bale picker rubbers they didn't pick anything up so let's go and make sure this picks up bales now it does say for well rain bales but i think you can pick anything up with it really so that comes out drop it down put the grab back in yeah and it doesn't like it the same as any other grabs you do it too tight it doesn't like it Oh, that's picked it up I don't know if it's going to stay in there though oh it will yeah it's trying to glitch out a little bit now but it's staying in there, it does pick it up. And then we try the round, about, uh, round square bale. But yeah, that seems to probably pick that up a lot easier. It is falling out though, yeah. So yeah, it will pick them up. Right, moving on because so much to get through now we've got the safety bumpers now these are pretty awesome and it's great for pushing bales around they're not going to get you're not going to go over the top of them and then get them stuck under the tractor which has happened quite a lot in the past and there's two different safety bumpers available this is the safety bumper with the weight and it's got the 2000 kilo weight now you can change the the black color on there and you can change the orange color on there they are minus two slots you can buy it for 1550 pounds or you can lease for 130 pounds all the color choices to choose from now this one is the safety bumper and this is 550 quid to buy and 79 pounds to lease 
Now same thing, you can change all the colours on there and it's got the extra lights all built in, the LEDs, which uh, looks pr pretty smart. Minus two slots again. So if you're getting stuck under those bales or even logs, because we could go back over to the fend and that is in its high position. So it will go right down to the floor. So nothing's gonna get under there. Pretty cool mod. Then we have a look at the Massey. Well, let, let's pull this out a little bit. I've also got another two set up over here. So let's drive over this way. And there we have the Massey F320 Skidder. Now this is uh, used for just picking up your logs and dragging them to where you want to load them up. It is minus 12 slots and to buy it will cost you £70,000. I can't remember what the leasing was on that. It wasn't a huge amount. Uh, it is 80 horsepower and it's only got a top speed of 50 mile an hour, which is why we've got the low loader which comes with it. There are quite a few different colors. You've got yellow, orange and red for your main colors and then your wheel colors, you've got yellow red and grey now you've also got tire choices between michelin's and trailborg no not michelin's it's just trailborg actually trailborg and then these ones with all the extra chains on you can have them single or twin for extra money uh, overall a nice looking mod i've seen this it's been out on pc for a while now and start her up. You see that black smoke change as soon as you start firing up, that's pretty cool. So you push the L1 and the right analog and that moves the blade. Now this blade, I did have a mess around with this earlier, it moved the blade and it doesn't, you can't push anything away from it apart from trees or anything like that. I thought it might work on crops but it won't and then the next operation you've got is the back grab which is the R1 and then pushing R, um, the, the right analog up and down let's get that out of the sun so we can actually see it a little bit more and that moves the arm up and down and then hold the R, L1 and R1 and then you can open the grab up and close it same again I tried it earlier and yeah it works fine you've got to be careful about pulling the arm um, doing it too tight because it, it just doesn't like it it starts jumping around all over the place and what have you so I've got a tree down just here and we'll just see if it's, how easy it is to pick that one up get lined up so we drop the arm down and that was the thing I find that really I think it is better off with a couple of trees yeah and we pick that up it's not completely tight in there But it is now. Well, that's working pretty well. Got beacons on it. And your working lights front and back. And it has come out. It wasn't in there that well, but you get the general idea. It does work, it does pick it up, it will take a little bit of getting used to how tight to pull that grab. But overall, nice looking mod. First one for FS17 console from Black Sheep Modern I think as well.
going inside pretty basic as you'd expect no nope, nothing digital in here and you get the extra um, mesh on the windows that's that's an extra you can add but all in all pretty pretty nice inside it got working pedals you see the pedals moving up and down and rev um, miles per hour going up and down as well and is that the oil pressure by the looks of it yeah and that's about your lot but yeah nice mod now it comes with this low loader trailer now the trailer itself is a lizard 320 trailer and you can have a semi attacher or a trailer attacher whichever you prefer to pull now it does on the way in you can see i i was going flat out with this and i did have a test with it earlier and it didn't come off whatsoever it stayed there now this one has got rear wheel steering as well both wheels turn which is a uh, pretty cool it does help getting in those tight spaces but yeah this low loader is specifically designed for the Massey now the loader itself is minus three slots and you buy it for six grand or you can lease it for 306 pounds all colors are available for this as well at an extra thousand pounds the nice mod so moving on we have the Horsch Tirano now this is in two different categories basically the Horsch Tirano 4FX cultivator now this one was the cultivator I don't think you're going to notice the difference between them uh, maybe the well we've got the different prongs but that's an attachment anyway I think the first one was for one one is in the cultivator section and one is in the plowing section but they are the same thing they both do the same job one's classed as a I think it was a, a subsoiler yeah it was a it was a subsoil so the cultivator will cost you 13,800 as the subsoiler will cost you 1600 200 but of course the subsoiler will cold um, will plow and your lease leasing costs for the cultivator was 754 pounds and it was just over 800 pounds for the subsoiler but very detailed mods now it does come with a few different rollers I meant to bring out the other one there's there's a packer roller a ring roller and what was the other one there was one more a tubular roller but I forgot to change that when we brought these out now we're not going to bother going and um, testing these because they are cultivators and plows so they should do we've never had a problem with those whatsoever and moving on we've got the Agro Mask 8030 and 8040 and these are disc arrows Now you've got the three meter one and the two meter one basically now these can be you can have a, a cedar placed on the back of this bit here now this is an extra attacher so you can attach the tractor onto there and the cedar onto there um, I couldn't find the, the cedar tank to use on that but of course it's just a normal cedar let me just go and get one of those out so this is the whole idea between these I'll show you with a three meter one that hooks up to there and then you can hook that up to there it lifts it up nice and high to keep it out of the way and then you can basically cultivate and seed at the same time as this cedar doesn't cultivate so with these little bad boys that's what you can do now the Agrimax X8030 is 9 slots and you need 110 horsepower to run it and it's 3 meters wide as you can see and it's got a 9 mile an hour working speed and you've got the one next door 
which is the 8040 which is four meters wide you need 150 horsepower to run this one and this one's minus 10 slots if you want the seed attacher that is an extra 750 pounds and we've also got the SL2 which is this little combination here which is the lights because these these don't fold there's no lights coming through so you you can use this to attach onto it and it brings the lights through so you've got rear lights we'll have a quick look and you see that it's actually attached like that We drop that down, then it just brings the rear lights through. Just like that. Now we will run over and have a quick look to see how these work because we've got lots of moving parts in there, so we'll go and give it a go. Unbelievable. And the night, the light is getting quite bad. Yeah, and that's working, not a problem. Job is a good one. Next we have the Lizard Neo 6000 and this is a plow and this is a game changer one because this plows at 6 meters. The cost of it is 22,800. You can lease it for 1,162. But it does need 215 horsepower. But 6 meters wide, brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Now you can also attach the neo roll 6500 and behind it and this is a cultivator and it's minus five slots this cost 11,500 so it's quite cheap 6.5 meters wide 245 horsepower and it's 586 pounds to lease 11,500 to buy i think i just said that never mind and the detail on this one yeah it it's beautiful very tidy looking mod let's get it unfolded now the, like i said these two will link up to each other and they all fold down one at a time let's see all the detail on even on the hoses just adds that bit of realism to it And then you have got a bit of movement where you can pull this this way to that way. It just helps you trim it up. Now it did say in the shop about having it in a specific location for with a worker. So we'll have to bear that in mind. And let's unfold the cultivator. Awesome. 
Very nice nod. Very nice. See those hoses, they are awesome. Now let's go in and take this out into the field and see what it does because the the one directly behind us is the plough so we're going to try that and then we will try the cultivator but a six meter plough for that cheap is crazy 22 grand just over 22 grand so let's first of all drop off the cultivator and then we put the plough and see what it leaves yeah it does leave the ground a ploughed state and we got a working speed of nine mile an hour as well so th that is a serious plough what's going to kick some ass now I think I'll be using them hopefully the workers won't have a problem Let's see if he goes up and turns around okay up here. Oh, and I pressed the wrong button. Never mind. Well, you can spin that completely back on itself as well. Let's get the worker. I see what they mean, what they're saying is, I think you've just got to put that, oh wrong button, I bet if you put that in the middle it'd be okay. Not in the middle but yeah you see he's missed a little bit there. So yeah, I need to move over a little bit more. But it is ploughing. So that's the cultivator hooked up. Let's just make sure that is going all right. Yeah, no bother with that. I think it will do, yeah, nine mile an hour. Right, so that's the two hooked up together. I think we just pop the worker on. And he does run right at the edge. Then does the cultivating over the top, which I'd never use this myself. But it all works, it's a, something new. Take the worker off. There's a bit of roll on that. And we can pull it over that way. And it pulls it over to the middle more pull it over to that way and then pull it to the edge the edge of the tractor with the plough cool so here we have a chicken stable now this is all self sufficient so you don't need to worry about anything all you do is put the feed in fill them up with chickens and away they go now they are free range, they just pop out of here. You see we've got a few chickens in there at the moment. Now you can actually come through into the office bit where it's got the machinery which would pack the eggs but on console so that doesn't work which is a bit of a shame. And then door going out. door 
won't let me out. Door. Door. Yeah, it does open. There's a door for it. And it's got a few little pallets and stuff just to uh, make it look nice on the side. Pallet truck. Now this is where you fill up with your wheat or your barley. And then basically this bit here is your animal dialogue. And then this section here is where your eggs are going to appear in your boxes. They're going to appear there. So yeah, all, all in all, nice looking mod. Bloody expensive. It's £234,000 for 495 chickens. And it's minus 18 slots as well. So it's up to you whether you buy it or not. I know it's self-sufficient for cleaning up. But then again, with the clean cleanliness cheat if that's still working you put straw down or wood chips and that would stop you do, doing any clearing up so all you had to do was put food in there but you know nice looking mod something different so we're getting the gator and yeah I find the tip was a bit problematic I couldn't find it in well it was in this trailer it probably tips straight away now because I found it but sometimes when you reverse that you can see there's no tip it's not coming in you're like hey what's going on and I just find you get it in the middle a little bit more and it's not having none of it is it there it is boy there it is start overloading there easy as that but yeah, if, you, if you're not having trouble with the trigger, that's what it is. Just have a little maneuver around there and it'll soon trigger its way in eventually. But nice mod, just bloody expensive. Now the next one is the multi-filling station. Now these are a complete game changer because look at them. They look awesome. We got the higher spikes, you can get anything underneath. They come in two different colours. You've got the black and then the silver for 10 grand. Absolute bargain. Minus six slots. But what you can buy from it is crazy. You can buy anything. They say anything. Well, everything. There are a few things that aren't in here. Like the chicken feed isn't one. So we'll pull under. And then, so we've got wheat, barley, oats, canola, soya beans, corn potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, seeds, total mixed ration, unbelievable. So you can start off your cattle and you can get total mixed ration out of here. Chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, and then that's all, all of them so you got all those different commodities now it i did have a i didn't understand where it was saying there was 10 percent extra for this and that it still worked out as pretty cheap like for instance at the moment let's go into and see what's the most expensive thing out there being sold at the moment it's the soya say the soya beans there 2800 per thousand liters now if we go on to the soya beans and this holds half a litre and it costs 411 so yeah you're going to make some money out of that quite easily this is a money making silo if you want to just do a bit of trading you can use that to do trading or start off with your farm and i know there's people who say yeah but what's the point if you can buy everything but well, it's just for starting off really you're not going to just buy everything are you and just uh well some people would i suppose but i'm not going to I just use it to top things up here and there but the other advantage is you bring over your slurry tank you can get slurry out of here simple as that it will fill slurry up also if you've got your water tank we get water out of here or you get milk look at that we actually get milk straight out of a silo so you can actually sell it and start making a little bit of money we're just selling milk the options are endless awesome mod 
right moving on to the last couple of mods this has been a mammoth now this is the large hall minus 20 slots it's got its own lighting turn that on where's the light switch gone that's that yeah and lighting over this side as well I didn't realize it was a uh, lighting for this side and lighting for that side lovely looking mod you know down to the fire extinguisher boxes there and the fire extinguisher sign even sticking out but the only back downside about this is these doors aren't big enough you should have put a door in the side so you could have gone up full height because you're going to struggle with some of the bits of kit you're not going to get it in through that door i could be wrong but that to me is pretty low time will tell moving on now this is the next mod which is the large vehicle shed and the first thing i seen this ladder going up here and i thought i bet you can't go up it i bet you can't go up the ladder and you can you can go up the ladder they've actually put a ladder up against the side what actually works so you consist of two main areas you've got your double doors over on this side and then lighting there's your lighting turn your lighting on no it's not going on it's there on yeah there you go there's your lights on detailing on this amazing look at this notice board right around the back and we got a few bits and bobs hanging around Then on this side, you've got your other three bays, but they have got specific lights per bay. So if you only want one light on, you can have one light on. If you want them all on, you can turn them all on individually. Something a little bit different. Yeah, and I can't turn that one on. Are we turn it on? Yeah, that's it. That one's gone on. So with that, is it for the large vehicle shed go and jump in this tractor a lot of slurry spreaders actually <coughs> one's injector one's not So this is the Lizard Slurry Tanker. It's minus 12 slots. It does a nine meter spread on its own just by chucking it out of the back of that. 14,000 liters it will hold. No, no different color options on it. Now you can buy it for eleven thousand pounds and lease it for five hundred and sixty one pounds you need hundred and fifty horsepower to run it and it works at nine mile an hour which is quite quick now you can have the injector where the injector is an extra for it and that's minus eleven slots Two, it's only two and a half meter wide on that one but 11 um sorry a thousand pounds to buy and to lease it is 51 pounds and it's an extra 50 horsepower to run this like i said it's only two and a half meters wide but the two come as a pair so you probably can put bigger injectors on the back you can probably hook it up with something else So this tractor really is probably a little bit underpowered because the two together you're going to need a bit more horsepower. But we'll give it a go. Uh, 
and of course it's not going to let me do any injecting because this field doesn't need it But yeah, it works, it works pretty well. Right, let's drop the injector off and see what it's like for just unfold it first. What's the unfolding? I didn't see it do anything. Fold the slurry tank, unfold slurry tank. Is that all what, what works? Oh, yeah, you just open up this valve. Whoa. Fold, unfold. Turn on slurry tank. Wow, right, that looks a bit different. So yeah, that seems to work okay. On to the next. So here we have the Joskin Medulla 2. Now this does cost 61,385 to buy and to lease it is 3,143. It's got a 15,785 litre capacity on it and it will inject at 12 metres wide. You need 150 horsepower to run it efficiently and the extra option was you could have this load arm, which is that one there. I currently got it filled up with digestate. You can have lots of dim different colors on the rims for 150 quid same on main colors and design color main color was extra 100 800 pounds design color was an extra 100 you can have trail ball knocking michelin and wide tires you can change the brand on the back of this you can have this instead of green it can be in the galve there's a quite a lot of options you go into the shop and you'll be surprised how many different things you can do with it so let's have a look at it unfolding whoa Oh, I see, that's the loading for filling it up. Lift a slurry tank. Right, well, let's take it up to the field. And the detailing on this kit is amazing. Look at it, that's pretty spectacular. Having to use the torch in the day, it's crazy isn't it? There's a nice looking mod. And you see all of them got the hoses for attaching now. Higher worker, of course he won't work. So let's lower. Yep, and that's injecting. I haven't really done much with the slurry and digestate, but I do want to start doing a lot more. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than using fertilizer 
and you can get that growth in without having you can fertilize and put slurry or digestate at, at the same time right well that is it for mods of today that's crazy amount of mods unbelievable I hope you found the video useful and if you did please give me a like and if you haven't already subscribed then hit that subscribe button and you will always see new content being released you get an email and let you know that I've just done another video righto well thanks for watching and I will see you next time